General Pipe Cleaner's Easy Rooter Junior, the right machine for clearing small floor drains, wash tubs, roof vents, and other medium-sized drains in two, three, and most four-inch lines up to 100 feet long. This video gives you a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's Easy Rooter Junior. This video does not include a complete list of all the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Easy Rooter Junior can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. The Easy Rooter Junior provides a safe, clean way to clear medium sized drains. However, as with any power tool, certain safety precautions are necessary. Remember these safety rules as you operate the machine. Check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Make sure the grounding prong is attached to the plug. Make sure the machine is plugged in to a grounded outlet. Verify that the ground is connected. If the power cord is not long enough, use a three-wire heavy-duty extension cord no more than 50 feet long. Make sure its grounding prong is in place. Using an ungrounded extension cord is very dangerous. Test the ground fault circuit interrupter before each use. Press the test button, then press the reset button. The light will indicate that it is operating properly. Do not operate the machine while standing in water. Wear safety glasses or goggles to protect your eyes from any debris thrown from the rotating cable or drain opening. Wear only leather gloves to protect your hands while you're handling the cable. Never use any other type of glove, such as cloth, rubber, or coated gloves. Operating the Easy Rooter Junior is a one-person job. Never have someone else operate the foot pedal or handle the cable. Never use the machine in a drain that has a chemical drain cleaner in it. Know how to shut off the machine in an emergency. Choosing the right cutters for your clogged drain problem is important. The arrowhead is a good cutter to start with. It's used as a starting drill to get the water flowing. The inch and a half and two inch U cutter blades are good finishing tools. They scrape the walls of the pipe for a more thorough cleaning job. The retrieving tool is for removing loose objects that have been lost down the drain. Start with the smaller cutters, then change to the larger cutters after you've gotten the water flowing. Place the machine at a distance not greater than two feet from the drain opening to avoid cable whipping and kinking. If you cannot place it that close to the opening, run the cable through a hose or pipe to prevent cable whipping. Before attaching a cutter, make sure the power switch is in the off position. Remove the screw and lock washer from the connector at the end of the cable. Slide the cutter into the slot. Then replace the connecting screw and lock washer. Tighten the screw firmly. Loosen the chuck at the front of the cage. Older model Easy Rooter Juniors may use a thumb screw. Pull the cable out of the cage and push it into the drain until it won't go any further. Then pull another foot of cable out of the cage so that an arc is formed between the machine and drain. Tighten the chuck, or thumb screw, against the cable. Position the foot pedal for easy accessibility. Be sure you can quickly remove your foot from the pedal in an emergency. Move the power switch on the machine to the forward position. Then, with both gloved hands on the cable, start the machine by stepping on the foot pedal. Guide the cable into the drain with a firm, even pressure. When the cable slack is gone, stop the motor by taking your foot off the pedal. Loosen the chuck and pull out more cable. Tighten the chuck. Step on the foot pedal and run the machine in forward again. Don't force the cable into the drain. Let the cutter do the work. You won't clear the line any faster and you could damage the cable 
or seriously injure yourself. The cable must turn freely as the cage rotates. If it jams, the cable will build up torque, start to buckle, and then, in the blink of an eye, twist itself into a series of loops. If your hands are caught in a loop, you risk severe injury. Again, do not force the cable. If the cable begins to buckle or twist, stop by taking your foot off the pedal. Rotate the cage in the opposite direction to untwist the cable. Push any excess cable back into the cage before continuing. Go slow. Again, don't force the cable. Your machine is equipped with a safety slip clutch. If the cage stops turning while the motor is still running, the slip clutch is engaged. This means you're forcing the cable. The safety clutch will slip until you stop the machine and pull back on the cable. Push any excess cable into the cage. When you meet resistance in the drain, move the cable back and forth until the resistance lessens and the cable moves freely again. Always keep the motor switch in the forward position, whether you are feeding cable into the drain or pulling out. Use reverse only to release the cable if it gets stuck. If the cable gets stuck, you can run the machine in reverse to free it, but only for a few seconds at a time. You must hold the momentary contact reverse switch in the reverse position to run the motor in reverse. To free the stuck cable, first tighten the chuck. Then hold the switch in the reverse position. With one gloved hand guiding the cable, step on the foot pedal for a few seconds at a time. Do not run the machine in reverse for more than a few seconds at a time, as this can damage the cable. When the cable has been freed, put the motor switch back in the forward position. Continue slowly working the cable into the drain a few inches at a time until the drain is clear. Run water into the drain to wash away any cuttings and clean off the cable. After the drain is clear, slowly guide the cable out of the drain and feed it back into the cage. Make sure the motor switch is still in the forward position. When you get close to the end of the cable, stop the machine and pull the cable out of the drain carefully. Never retract the cutting tool from the drain while the cable is rotating. The cable could whip and cause serious injury. If you leave the machine unattended, switch the machine off and pull out the plug. Be sure to read the condensed operating instructions attached to the machine. See the instruction manual for a complete list of safety procedures, operating instructions, and maintenance requirements. If you have any questions, call the Drain Brains at General. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.